Hello everybody, I am Dr. D. I'm about to show you what you can do with your leftovers, uh, sweet potatoes or potatoes there. Um, what I'm doing is sweet potatoes. What I am going to do is that I'm going to make a mash with this potatoes that I have. Left. So what I did is I added a little bit of yogurt a little bit of vanilla. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. You can add a little bit of ginger. You can add a little bit of nutmeg. All depends on your taste preference. Um, to give it like a little bit of an eggy taste, I'm going to use this. This, like you see, the Kamala, the um, Kalala, Naka, Namaka. Um, mineral it has more of a salt but has the flavoring of a of egg and a cooked egg to add that so um you can make this vegan or unvegan is up to you using coconut or whatever you have but also i'm going to take it up another notch i have some uh purple potatoes Sweet potatoes that I got these uh these purple yams that I happen to like so it's up to you uh, what you want to do so I'm gonna add this to this salad but I want this I want this a lot more smoother before I add going to add this, the purple sweet potatoes. Okay, so the potato that I had, I'm going to say was made, it was a half of a sweet potato, so meat, money. So what I'm adding in here is a purple potato. Uh, I am guessing I added one table one table spoon with two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Okay. Now, after this is uh, done going to pour this mixture, the purple mixture with the cinnamon. I haven't even added anything sweet in here yet. Okay? So I haven't even gotten to the sweet part. You can add coconut sugar or you can add coconut sugar. Uh, regular sugar, white sugar, all depends on what you want. Uh, me, I like coconut sugar, and let me tell you, because it's coconut sugar, it is going to be a, a come out um, like if you're using something, making something white, you think it's going to be white. It's not, because uh, coconut sugar is really palm coconut sugar, and it's really dark. So don't get surprised when it's not. Um, for me, because like I told you, I am gluten-free, I am going to use a gluten-free free flour. Um, and like I said, this is not going to be vegan. But like I said, you have the choice of making it vegan. So for right now, as you can see, I am using one tablespoon measuring it two tablespoons oops two tablespoons three tablespoons so i want to see how that does if it makes it thick like i want and also i'm going to put one fourth of baking powder in here okay it thickens it up a little bit but not like i want so one fourth of baking powder. 
to go in here, okay? One fourth per teaspoon. Okay. This is baking powder. And I am also going to use two eggs to put it in there. So I'm going to add some more baking powder. Not affiliated, not going to one. So that old gratin from the last recipe, it probably will take about 45 minutes, 35 minutes around there. 30 to 45 minutes and it'll be done. Now I'm gonna get my eggs. Okay. That's one. And what I do for the eggs that I do have here, left over on um, the shelves, I actually use it for a, a compost. I'm building my own compost right here, so, you know. So that everything is not wasteful. Don't want to bring a lot of um, stuff and it not. It's, I'm mixing it together. I'm combining it. Because this is going to puff up. And what I have is a muffin pan. Let me taste it. I think it needs some more, a little bit more sugar. It's pretty good. did is I measure an eye in it, <laughs> as I told you. Uh, I say I added maybe a fourth a cup the first time and added another so in this mixture of the sweet potatoes. So this is what it looks like. And this is my muffin pan. So what I'm going to do is to, for it to be even. I am going to get a, uh, I'm going to use my ladle, so it comes out evenly. See, like that. This is so amazing. Like, look at this. This recipe actually looks like it's going to, it's going to rise up. So, now you could just do this with plain sweet potatoes if you so choose. Uh, using two eggs using um, like one fourth a cup of yogurt, using one teaspoon of vanilla, 
and also using a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, like I said, you can make your own variety. I'll say I use one fourth of Kala Namata mineral salt from India's Indian salt mineral that I use. Uh, guys, so I'm gonna put this in my oven along with my vegetable and rotten so that it's beautiful. So, uh, I need to get another uh, thing. And like I said, it gets crispy on top. Let me see. How can I? Oh, hold on for one This is what the vegetable or rotten looks like. And it's bubbly and stuff. So it's been in there and it's a cookie. Okay. I have them the wrong way. <laughs> so it's okay. Lala. So that is it for that one. So the next video, you'll get to see the sweet potatoes and everything coming out. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Thank you. This is Dr. D at the next video. Hopefully you'll get to see it all together. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now the next video will be about rice and what you can do with your leftover rice. Stay tuned.